Hey folks, welcome to Bear Mountain. We haven't done a video in a while, but I thought we'd just take a quick walk through and take a look at the tunnel, uh, how things have changed in here, the one we did with electroculture. And we've got our tomatoes and our melons and our cucumbers growing in here. And this is, today is the last day of July. So basically everything's been growing in here for about six weeks. And I kind of wanted to show you guys how things look. And this is the side, what you're seeing right in the front here is this row is the uh, cantaloupes, and if you look closely, we can even see that we've got melons, and they're growing actually pretty good, lots of blooms. And remember all those little marigolds that I planted by the tomatoes? They're actually starting to bloom. I've got to do a little pruning in the pathway, I think, and, and direct the melons in a different direction. I didn't do a trellis on them. I thought maybe I wouldn't do that this year, but next year I think I definitely will try raising these things in a trellis. Then what you're looking at here, this is the uh, deter indeterminate tomatoes, the ones uh, that we've got a bunch of different varieties of slicers as well as paste. This front variety right here is actually a greenhouse specific type of uh, tomato and you can kind of see it's growing pretty well. I think the uh, next thing, I've got a, you know, a whole lot of leaf curl going on uh, with a lot of these tomato varieties. And I think that's a reflection of the heat in the tunnel, even though we're trying to keep this thing vented up pretty good. Uh, we still get that. But you can see that there's lots of tomatoes there. And the actual row looks pretty good all the way down. It's actually reaching near the top. I haven't done any bracing in here because I've actually got a lot less weight on uh, the purlin than I thought I would have. So i um, kind of been holding off about trying to do anything with that. And then this side over here is, uh, these are supposed to be my determinants. And it turned out my first variety here uh, is actually an indeterminate. So I actually got it in the wrong place, but this is all done with the Florida weave. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna top these guys uh, basically to, because they've kind of reached the top. I've got a lot of tomatoes here underneath the foliage. So I'm gonna start taking the lower foliage out and I'm going to use all that foliage. I'm just going to throw it into a Jadam liquid fertilizer bucket for next year. And I haven't been using tomato clips or anything. So when I when I deal with these guys, I just kind of try to wrap it around the actual string itself without I'm trying to do this without breaking it. I'm doing this one handed. So but basically what I'm doing, as you can kind of see, is I'm wrapping the string around the, the actual vine. So it kind of holds it up just fine. And I come through here every day or so and just kind of, you know, prune out any extra side branches off of the indeterminants. And uh, I haven't really done any pruning of any severity at all on, on these guys on the determinant side. So I've got to really kind of do that. But other than that, uh, we've got a lot of tomatoes setting on. I mean, just about everywhere you look under leaves, you see tomatoes. So uh, we're going to have a pretty good harvest. So when I <clears throat> start walking through here, you can kind of see the tomatoes on uh, both sides, the uh, indeterminates as well over here. These are, that's like a brandy wine uh, that's growing. And uh, we've got lots of cherry tomatoes that will be setting on. I've already got some, if I dig deep in here, I can already find some golden nuggets. Like there's one right there. And see, that's all ready to pick. And uh, that's my, some of my first of the crop, so they look pretty good. We're getting started. We're gonna have a lot of tomatoes. The marigolds, they they done they've done very well. This is all done from seed. I direct seeded them in the ground and then did some pricking out transplants when they kind of got to the point of having their first set of true leaves. So you can kind of see. I mean, you look at all the buds on these guys. It's gonna be a sea of orange here shortly. It will really show out as soon as I trim off these bottom leaves. And then back over this way. These were all my peppers that were totally, I'd say, they were slapped around pretty good before I put them in. They were, I wasn't sure whether I would get any kind of beginning height out of these guys, but they're looking good. A uh, whole bunch of different varieties from sweet bell peppers to some of them hot. And this variety of tomato right here is Paisano. I'm going to slip right through here and just kind of show you these are the cucumbers. Look at the size of the leaves on those guys. I've got four different <clears throat> varieties of cucumbers in here 
and uh, one of them is a small leaf type and then we got market more and um, I think diva it yeah I think diva is one of them too and uh, these are most of them are um, they're for pickling so I wanted to see which ones would give you I have max pack and uh, so I want to see which one's going to give me the most and so they're just now beginning to produce and I've actually done a first picking on it just uh, the other day so I've come around the other side and uh, this is the sweet potatoes and they're actually um, now starting to spread pretty good and this was just slips I raised from a sweet potato I bought at the store so I have absolutely no idea what the variety is um, but the plants are looking pretty good so I guess we'll know in October whether we get any and at some point uh, when they get a little too much out of control I'm I'll just uh, prune them back too this is just another uh, backside view of the tomatoes they're looking uh, nice and healthy you can see the nice row of right there of the marigolds starting to bloom so that's going to be kind of cool anyway uh, that's kind of where things are at this is July 31st this is not a super long video just kind of wanted to show you what things are looking like in the tunnel I want to show you some of the things we've already harvested in terms of onions and potatoes we've already got that that done uh, all our storage onions we we'll be pulling the last ones out of the tunnel here. They've kind of cured. Uh, be pulling those out tomorrow. I just pulled out the shallots. And um, we've got all our reds and our other uh, white onions uh, getting ready to be put down in our root cellar for storage. So that one went out pretty good. We got some uh, sweet corn, zucchini, and uh, starting our last cropping of beans, uh, which are green beans for canning and uh, that's kind of where the the tunnel is at at this point we're going to start getting things ready to put in some fall kale type product uh, crops uh, and you know other kinds of brassicas that maybe uh, we'll use during the winter time so one of the things we're doing here is we planted a little bit of sweet corn uh, for late in the season this is sugar buns and uh, it doesn't get super tall but it's just a sweet corn and uh, you can see right now what I've got is, is I've thinned the, the actual hills down to about three a piece. And I took these extra guys that I gently worked out of the soil and I'm going to transplant them because I got, I overplanted the hills. Actually, this one might right here still has four in it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of gently work this one guy out of the soil. It does snap a few roots, but... I try not to be uh, too rough on it. There we go. And just kind of gently work it out. And as you can kind of see, I've got roots. It's going to set it back a little bit. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to plant that in another patch and just kind of uh, you know, not waste the uh, ones that we're going to pull out. So I've been soaking these guys in uh, some water with a little bit of... Uh, leaf mold soil in it just enough to kind of inoculate the roots and then I planted uh, I'm gonna plant them in hills of three and roughly about a couple inches apart it's gonna be pretty dense in here when it grows but what I want to do is I want to get let me just pull one out here and the nice thing about these guys is they're not wilted at this point and I'm just gonna make sure that it's in in the hole and then we'll just cover it with dirt. So we'll plant uh, as many of these hills of three as we can. So we were able to get about, a, oh, it looks like about 24 additional new corn plants out of here. So that's okay. It'll be another two dozen ears or so if we produce at least one per plant. And uh, this is August, early August, first, first couple of days of August right now. And so this will probably be October that we'll end up harvesting it. These corn plants are only supposed to get about five and a half feet tall to six foot, which will still be at least a foot short above our central part of our tunnel. And uh, that should be just fine. The area I have to harvest today is the last set of our onions. This is the, uh, the uh, Bridger group. And uh, got to get these guys, uh, get the tops off and get them in the crate, get them up into storage. 
that's it for the first uh, few days. Uh, we're at, like I said, around the first part of August, first August. That and uh, we've got most all the potatoes out. I've got one group uh, left that is just kind of the vines are starting to die down. Uh, German butterball. We got corn planted. You saw the melons and the cucumbers and the tomatoes are all looking good and the peppers are looking good. I'm going to put my last group of beans, green beans in, and this will be for an October harvest. We put up actually quite a few uh, canned green beans last year in October, so uh, that'll work out pretty good. One last thing I did want to show you was the delphinium. This is the second uh, flush on this. So after it first bloomed in uh, June, by uh, near the end of June, uh, first week of July, I cut it all down to the ground and it's really coming back nice and strong. Guardian, this is the Guardian Delphinium and uh, it's gonna end up giving us another set of flush here probably in the month of August. And the only thing I did for these guys is I fertilize, I've been fertilizing them with JLF and I actually put a, quite a bit of biochar down, worked it into the top part of the soil. And as you remember from earlier videos, I transplanted a bunch of uh, uh, the delphinium to kind of fill the row out, and it seems like it did a pretty good job. I've got some weeds in it, but it's not too bad. Other than that, I think this is going to be a nice uh, set of blue flowers for uh, mid to late August. It's going to be kind of cool. So thanks for watching today, and uh, stay safe out there. You know things are a bit crazy this time of year. Where everything's kind of really popping, and. Uh, we just want to say take it easy and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.